B. Okay, this is the first step. This is it. We laced our shoes for the day ahead. My dad and I prepared our day packs, which consisted of the Camino Scallop, which identifies you as a pilgrim and route to Santiago. With that symbolism dangling from your bag, you get to greet fellow pilgrims with a jolly or weary Buen Camino. We also had with us our walking sticks, which became handy on certain ascents along the way. Day 2 was the first 15 kilometers of 153 kilometers. Not bad for the first walk in the Camino, onward bound to Santiago de Compostela. With our bags in tow, we left Guimaraes and headed for kilometer zero in a place called Vitorino de Piaes. Before making our first step on kilometer zero, we stopped by a bar to get our first stamp. We carry these passports to collect badges of honor along the way. Our goal is to get as many as we can. Ideally, you must receive two per day, but for the competitive, it becomes limitless. Oh hey, that's me with my first stamp. Number two, number two, we're crossing this little village. Bim bam, bim bam. You'll go up on the highway. Oh my gosh, I'm on a highway. You'll cross over. Fine. You think you're gonna go down the road on the highway? No, you're not. Look carefully. You'll see an arrow take you off and down into the valley. Okay. So will you be on the highway briefly? Yes. yes. Will you be off the highway very quickly? Absolutely. Caution when you're on the highway, even if it's briefly, we fly by. Line. Hi, The yellow arrow will take you to Santiago. There is not a single yellow arrow in Portugal or Spain or France that takes you away from Santiago. Every arrow. Oh, so sweet! Gravy. First time from a vineyard. <laughs>
Everything here, where is Tony? Oh, Tony, just somewhere. is the boss. Thank God. That black one. Yay! The first hotel was called Paco de Caljeros, owned by Count Caljeros and his family. With our tired legs, we settled in the largest hotel room we have had during this entire trip. The only downside was that there was no air conditioner and the rooms looked kind of old and dark. But the estate was majestically beautiful and it was up on a hill looking down on a quaint town in Ponte de Lima. That afternoon we discussed the trek the next day which was by far the hardest day and to cap the night off we had dinner with the Count and his wife surreal and lovely to be able to finish 15 kilometers and sleep our heads in such an exquisite manner. 